Howdy folks, welcome to the Deep Space Travel Break, YouTube's most popular No Man's Sky slash Light No Fire podcast, according to me. And uh, according to you, if this episode does well, <laughs> as usual, my livelihood is in your capable hands. Anyway, today's episode is big for No Man's Sky news. There's a new expedition out, but only for those on Steam's experimental branch. And I actually got to play it for the first time ever, so that's exciting. We'll talk about that. We're seeing data mine previews of possible new features on top of gameplay of actual new features that are likely going to be in the next update, which seems to be just around the corner. No Man's Sky Omega, anyone? <laughs> so I'll cover the facts and then indulge in a little reasonable speculation for good measure. But hey, before we start, this episode is brought to you by, you guessed it, you. Yes, you. Leaving a like or subscribing helps keep this channel going. You can also support me more directly by becoming a valued member today. You get exclusive emojis to use during live streams and access to members only content, which uh, I will be recording more of, I assure you. So thanks everyone for the support so far. Speaking of live streams, all of the b-roll you'll see in the background of today's episode, with the exception of a, a couple of clips, is from my live stream yesterday where I was able to test the latest experimental patch on PC. So uh, check out that live stream if you're interested in some light spoilers for the expedition. I'll try to avoid any story spoilers in this episode of the podcast, but that said, I do suppose I'll be talking about the content of the next update, so... Spoiler alert for new features? <laughs> Without further ado though, I'm Kanaju, and this is the Deep Space Travel Break, episode 28. Let's get to the news. So, on Wednesday, February 7th, 2024, Hello Games released a patch to the Experimental Branch on Steam. For those who play on consoles, or are unaware, the Steam Experimental Branch is sort of like an open beta you can opt into. Small patches and hotfixes will often be released to those opted in a day or two in advance of the rest of the platforms. This allows Hello Games to check for bugs at scale before pushing it to all players. There's usually a business day or two delay <laughs> for hotfixes, but larger patches can have multiple iterations within the experimental branch before they're ready for full release. Rarely though, very very rarely, Hello Games will release something larger. And Wednesday's experimental patch was definitely one of the largest we've seen. So let's look at the patch notes. Firstly, expeditions can now be started from the space anomaly, as well as from the mode select screen. Which is huge, but we'll get to that. Number two, starting an expedition from the space anomaly allows players to carry aspects of their character and progress into the expedition. As well as taking this progress back to the main save when the expedition is over, which... Oh, it's so cool. We'll get to that too. And number three, for the purposes of this trial, Experimental Branch includes a version of an upcoming expedition. This expedition will run as usual for all players and platforms after this trial is complete. So, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Um, let's start with the fact that, um, yeah, there's an, uh, an experimental version of the upcoming expedition, Expedition 12. Right now it's titled Omega. I don't know if that title is going to stick, if that'll be the title of the update. If it'll be, you know, No Man's Sky Omega, and then the expedition will have its own name, or if they'll share the same name, or if it'll keep the name and then the update has something else. I'm fairly sure we're going to get an update alongside this expedition when it does release to the public. But for right now, the fact that we're getting a trial version of this expedition is it's really interesting. And it's interesting that they say a version of an upcoming expedition, which implies that that certain parts of the content will change in the final release. I'm hoping that means there's going to be more story content in the final release because I've played through part of the expedition and it, it does look like it's going to be one of those story based ones. You seem to have a, a, a name like your character has like a backstory for once, sort of. And there does seem to be some unique story content in there. However, I also felt like some of the expedition milestones were kind of disconnected. So it's possible that like they've sort of hidden some of the most important story bits. So that during this trial, you know, yeah, we can see the rewards and things like that. And we can run the test and make sure everything functions. But we won't spoil the story for all of those players who 
aren't able to play on PC, experimental specifically. So that's really interesting. Besides like an expedition beta, which is still really cool, the other big thing that both of these patch notes allude to is that expeditions can now be started from the space anomaly, as well as from the mode select screen. So in my playthrough, it was my first time playing on PC, so I didn't have a save file, so I had to start the expedition from the mode select screen. But luckily, <laughs> Jason plays. Uh, he does have footage of what it looks like when you already have a normal save, or in this case, he actually used a permadeath. Anyways, I'll put a link to his video in the description. Sorry, Jason, I'm borrowing some of your <laughs> footage here, um, but I think we're cool. But let me walk through how this works. So, if you have an existing save, you can go to the Space Anomaly and you'll find a new kiosk behind the Nexus. And this will allow you to start the current expedition. Now, it's I'm not sure if you'll be able to play different expeditions, like if there'll be a list similar to the Nexus, or if it'll just be like during this time period you play this expedition, once it's over it'll cycle to the next one. Hopefully the fact that this terminal is always present will mean there will always be an expedition running. So between like new expeditions, maybe we can replay old ones. That'd be pretty cool. Especially because, like it says, you can now use your main save and carry over aspects of your character and in progress into the expedition. Now what that means specifically is that you keep your appearance, right? So you keep your appearance unlocks, which is really nice. You keep your discoveries. So discoveries are shared between your expedition save and your normal save now if you start you know through this new method bases i believe are also shared so no more building a base on a separate save it's all part of the same save now but the other incredible thing is you can actually send equipment to yourself so you can't start the expedition with all your gear because i mean that would trivialize <laughs> certain expeditions instead what you can do is you can actually create kind of like a care package for yourself and put some tech in there and, and some inventory items and basically you start the expedition and you start you know where you normally would with your broken ship and no gear and whatnot however once you make it to the anomaly in your expedition you can then access that same console and take those items that you left for yourself after you started the expedition you can't go back and modify what you put in there so you kind of have to plan ahead but that's that's a pretty cool way to make it easier for players who uh who feel like, you know, <laughs> they don't just want to grind all the same stuff again. Because I know that's one complaint people have with Expeditions is that, like, they've already done all this on their main save, so why are they grinding the same stuff? And I get that. I mean, I, I love Expeditions, but I think this is a great compromise. On top of that, you can also duplicate your ship and your multi-tool from your main save into your Expedition save. So that, again, that's just really, really cool. Now, funny enough, you can only access this stuff once you reach the anomaly. So for an expedition like Cartographers, where you're stuck on <laughs> on the same planet until you fix your ship. I mean, that one you probably won't get too much out of, of sending yourself stuff. But for the other expeditions, I could see it making a lot of sense. Um, another cool fact about this is that you can sort of pause the expedition. So you can leave the expedition, go back to your normal save, and then resume it later. And you can actually see the progress on this screen. Again, thank you so much to Jason Plays for the footage. Uh, I am essentially stealing it, but <laughs> not without credit. So that's sort of like the main gist of what this experimental patch is, right? It's a new expedition, that they're, or a version of an upcoming expedition. But they're mainly testing if you're able to bring in your your existing save data and make a new expedition save out of it right concurrently and i think they're also testing for balancing because like some people are like stacking a bunch of tech i mean jason does it in his video and so you know they might be looking at this and trying to figure out you know what seems fair and and whatnot it's a good way to get feedback so i'm glad they're doing this ahead of time and getting it ready now what that means for release date i don't know the expedition scheduled to end monday i believe i don't know if that'll be enough time for them to implement feedback and fix bugs and things like that before releasing it so at the earliest we'd probably see this release to all players like next wednesday or thursday at the earliest 
That'd be the 14th or 15th of February. But I think it's just as likely that they take an extra week or two or even more to polish this and then get it ready for full release. So yeah, I wouldn't... <laughs> I know it's it's really frustrating to like see this new content that PC players can experience and want it on consoles. And that's why normally they don't release these too far in advance of consoles, which makes me think it will be next week, but you never know. Sometimes they find game breaking bugs that take uh, more time to fix. I guess I'm just not as impatient this time because I finally have No Man's Sky on PC after all these years. So exciting to finally test out experimental stuff on the same day as everyone else, instead of just uh, reading about it. So, uh, yeah. So those are sort of the main bullet points, but there are a lot of small things. Now, we don't have the full patch notes for this. We don't know if, if everything that's here is going to be in the next update necessarily, but one thing we do know will probably make an appearance are the rewards for this expedition. They're, they're probably the actual rewards we can expect. First up, we have the Omega Banner, the title Starborn, and the Omega Decal, which are sort of standard fare, what you'd expect from an expedition save. Those, obviously, I'm always glad to see those. Next up, we have the Starborn Runner, which is an exclusive, it says here, spacecraft, but it's a starship. And it looks incredible. I mean, I've said it, a lot of people have said it looks like a, a ship from Wipeout. It looks like a, a racing spaceship you know what i mean uh, but of course we don't have starship racing in the game currently is it something they might add later maybe i mean they were developing it back in the next era back in version 1.4 of the game but it wasn't in 1.5 so you know it's it's i wouldn't hold my breath but it does look like it's built for speed built for racing now i don't have footage of it because there's a bug in the expedition that prevents you from completing it. I think they might have patched it, but I haven't completed the expedition yet. However, I have heard um, Professor Cynical dropped into my stream yesterday. And I was like, hey, what's the cockpit like? You know, what's all that like? And he's like, oh, I don't want to spoil it for you. Which I appreciate because from what I understand, it's supposed to be pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I won't spoil it for you either. I've, I've somewhat had it spoiled for me through a description but i haven't seen like footage of it but it sounds like it's it's a cool starship i don't think it has too many unique perks it says it's you know great at in atmosphere flight and things like that but in all honesty i think it's more about aesthetics with this one and then we're also getting an atlas flight pack which is a cool new um backpack jet pack for you that one looks really cool I love that we're getting Atlas themed stuff with this expedition. Again, I loved when the rewards are really well themed and uh, they work well together. Next, we have the Atlas Scepter, which is our first ever multi-tool reward for an expedition. It's an exclusive multi-tool and it looks really good. I, I haven't seen it in game. Well, I've seen a couple screenshots from other players, but I haven't earned it yet. But I mean, that that's beautiful. So yeah, that's that's a pretty great unique reward. Beyond that, we have the Atlas Head Shield, which is a pretty cool looking helmet, I have to say. Uh, I love the Atlas aesthetic. I love that it's pretty much the No Man's Sky logo on your face. But no, it looks pretty cool. It's pretty much all a matching set of armor. It actually makes me wonder, they call this a version of the expedition. I wonder if in the final expedition, if there will be two sets of armor and multi-tools to unlock similar to the um what was it the singularity expedition where depending on the choice you made you could get either an atlas or an abyss style head customization i wonder if they'll do something similar here where there'll also be an abyss set uh, that's like slightly different that'd be really cool i wouldn't hold my breath for it i mean they're pretty much showing their hand here so to expect anything more would be kind of unreasonable but I just, I wonder about that, if they're showing us all the rewards for the expedition. Which, if they were, uh, let me just say, this is, this expedition ranks pretty high on, like, the best rewards tier list. So, uh, uh, I, I wouldn't expect too much more. Because they also have uh, three posters in here, which are interesting. Starborn poster, it's not the best. But the interface poster, like, you could do a nice wallpaper with that. And the Remembrance poster is really nice. It's got all the Atlas seeds in there. So, yeah. 
overall the rewards are looking pretty cool looking forward at the milestones i was surprised there weren't any uh encrypted milestones which they usually do with story-based expeditions which also makes me think that these might not be the final milestones but there are these great optional milestones and these are based on community progress and it's about surveying the individual rendezvous planets what's cool is that the reward for these these optional milestones is a 900 quicksilver per optional milestone per tier so i mean i love the idea of uh tying quicksilver into expeditions because quicksilver obviously is one of those really difficult currencies to get it's the most difficult currency to get in the game and you can only get it by doing online events right essentially so expeditions being these exclusive events i think makes perfect sense to give us some quicksilver rewards even other i, I think another milestone i completed also gave me like 200 quicksilver or something and i think that's great uh, i think that would give people who have already played these maybe an excuse to play them again if you're not interested in doing uh quicksilver missions from the nexus and for players who are new it also gives you a little bit of currency to spend in the anomaly so i'm all for it i think that's a, a great implementation i also noticed that there's like this biscuit looking icon uh which i didn't recognize i was like is that, is that a macaroon but apparently if you go onto the subreddit that is actually a new recipe it's a new kind of recipe biscuit recipes so I, I'm excited to try that. They have not added new recipes to the game. <sighs> when was the last time they added new recipes to the game? I don't even remember. I want to say since they added food in 2019, but I feel like they added recipes. No, maybe they haven't added any new recipes. No, no, they definitely have. Oh my gosh, I'm. See now, I look like I don't know what I'm talking about. But they they do not add recipes often. So it's great that they're playing with cooking a little bit more. Um, I don't know what other changes they've made to cooking. But uh, it's great to see them remembering that cooking's in the game. That's always a good thing, right? Besides that, that's about it for the new stuff in the expedition. Now, the story bits of the expedition are really exciting. But I, I don't want to spoil them here, so... Feel free to check out Jason Play's video if you want to see those. Or feel free to check out my live stream. I should have suggested my live stream first. <laughs> I play for about three or four hours and I'm just exploring and discovering things as I go. So, yeah. Alright, so after that, ba -ba -ba -ba, new ship details. Sorry, I have a bullet point list of things to talk about here. Oh, so another thing we came across while exploring the new experimental build was that they added teleporters to the space anomaly. So when you exit your ship to the on the left side of the anomaly is where like the teleport area is. It's where Tethys is, the multi-tool scrapping stations up there. Well, there's always been a balcony, but they finally added a teleporter there. So that uh, you don't have to jetpack up to the balcony, which is what everyone did anyways. So it's cool to see them repurposing it yeah it's just really convenient <laughs> i i appreciate that ba -ba -ba -bum. and that's about all i noticed while i was playing i also noticed this artifact chart for sale from the cartographer i don't remember this being in the game before the chart led me to a regular buried ruin let me know if this is new in the comments now that said there are things that other people have noticed uh, i guess minor spoiler alert for <laughs> for features but it seems like in this latest experimental patch you can actually purchase a pirate dreadnought and and like own it so they have a hangar they have um a freighter bridge and uh yeah if you defeat them in combat but you don't destroy them you can actually board and have your own frigate your or your own dreadnought which is awesome for people who want to like really role play pirates. Now that you can get the pirate frigates and the dreadnought, I mean, you can have your whole pirate fleet. You know what I mean? That's really cool. Now, from what I've heard, I haven't done it myself. So this is all going off of things I've seen, screenshots, people talking. It seems pretty buggy at the moment. Like, like it, its turrets will still shoot at you and 
it's it's not polished yet. Like the interior will switch back to the regular one and things like that. So they didn't mention it in the patch notes, right, for the experimental branch. And it seems like it's not necessarily completely functional yet. So I don't know if we'll necessarily see this in the same update as the new expedition stuff. Since obviously what's in the experimental patch notes, the expedition, the the new console, all that, that is almost 99% guaranteed to be in the next title update, right? They're showing it to us. They're making a big deal about it. They're testing it. That's probably coming next. They didn't mention the pirate dreadnoughts. So there's a chance that <laughs> they were testing it and they forgot that that feature was in this build of the experimental branch. Uh, we don't know. That might be coming down the line. That might never come, right? We don't know about that. So it's just important to keep our expectations in check when looking at that. But I think that's really exciting. I've been waiting for an alternate freighter bridge for forever. Like we've only ever had one freighter bridge and one freighter interior. So just having two is like <laughs> double the variety there. I also think it's a really cool reward if you manage to snag one of those, right? But it makes me wish we could have multiple freighters then. Cause like, then I kind of want to have like one regular one and one pirate one. But anyways, that's, that's really cool. Really cool. As for um, other features, some folks have been data mining and there's some interesting stuff. So if we look, uh, one guy I follow on Twitter is, blah, 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 let me pull it up, that bomber boy on Twitter. I guess it's at bomber that, <laughs> but um, he's been posting some interesting stuff about stuff he's been data mining, specifically what seems to be like an upsell UI. And that seems to be related to what he he's also data mined. Seems to be like a trial mode, possibly. So that would be if you've if you've been on any game consoles lately or any game marketplace, you can see that there are sometimes like limited time trials of games. So you can play you know four hours of Uncharted or whatever, and then after that you can continue if you want to purchase the full game, or if not, then you just got to play that much and it was like a demo. Now No Man's Sky, I actually think is a great candidate for a game trial because No Man's Sky is so big, you cannot see everything even in like four hours. You know what I mean? Like there are so many gameplay systems and loops, not to mention just planets. You will not see them in the first four hours, but I think after four hours, you, you're finally getting your space legs and that's probably when you, you want to play. So I think making it a trial version, letting people sort of Play with the mechanics see how functional it is and how fun it is and then you know trying to upsell them the full price version that's pretty smart uh i i think that's great again sure it's been data mined but that doesn't mean it will necessarily release in this next update or even release at all it might just be something hello games are working on and maybe it never comes to fruition on top of that there's all kinds of other things that have been data mined you know Maybe we're going to get more expeditions. Maybe they're just placeholders, right? There might be new story content, right? Additional Atlas path stuff. Maybe we're getting new points of interest. Or maybe they're going to update some of the Nexus missions. There's a bunch of little things that change in, the, in these experimental patches. And you never know if it's just like something they were working on and they just left those like snippets of code in if it's something that we'll ever see like we've seen the whole models and functional things we put in the game and data mined that just never amounted to anything so i wouldn't get my hopes up too much if you want to look into that you can go on to like the no man's sky discord go into <laughs> into the spoilers channel and read up there if you're interested but yeah i just found the the trial mode to be quite interesting and the idea that we're getting more expeditions so this is this is the part of the show where I get to speculate. So one big one big thing people have been speculating about with all this is the name, right? Omega. Expedition 12 is called Omega. It's possible the update will be called No Man's Sky Omega. But obviously when you say the word Omega, people think ending, right? And so a lot of folks are speculating, "Oh no, this is this is the end of support for No Man's Sky." And you know, it's totally possible that it is, but I don't think that's likely to be the case. And part of that is just like messaging from Hello Games. Like Sean didn't say, you know, as we're working on Light No Fire, 
we're now like winding down development of No Man's Sky and blah blah blah. No, he's like, we've been working on No Man's Sky for a long time and we're excited to keep working on it. 2024 is going to be a big year for No Man's Sky. We can't wait to show you the stuff we've been cooking up. So that makes me think we're going to keep getting updates this year. I don't know how long they'll continue support for No Man's Sky like this at this capacity, but uh, I'm loving it. <laughs> and I, I, I think it's going to continue at least through the end of the year. That would be my guess. I say that pretty much every year, but this year's looking pretty optimistic too. So I don't think it's the end. I think it might be related more to story. So maybe it's the beginning of the end for the Atlas or for the Abyss or for the main storyline, something like that. I don't think it necessarily refers to No Man's Sky's development, but I could be wrong, right? This is all speculation. None of us really know. <laughs> It'd be great if, if Hello Games would tell us, but there's also the chance that Omega is just like a code name, right? Back in the day, the modules used to be like Theta, Omega, uh, I think Delta was one of them. I, I can't remember which ones they used. They only used a specific few letters from the Greek alphabet, but it could just be a, a code name. And then when the expedition comes out, it's actually called something different. And the update's called something different. So you never know, right? But No Man's Sky Omega does sound like a pretty badass name for an update. Speaking of which, we don't know what all is going to be in this update. We know it's going to be a new expedition, right? Um, we know it's going to be new expedition console, new, you know, style of expedition play. But we don't know what else it'll be. Some folks are thinking, oh, because this is all we see, this is all we're going to get. That might be true, um, but it might also not be true. <laughs> You never know. Uh, th for all we know, this could be the space station update that, that we saw in the trailer, right? In that last trailer we saw in 2023, we have the new space stations. We have this ship, right, which comes from this expedition. So who knows? It seems like they were pretty close to done with those last time. But of course, we don't know how intricate those interiors are. So maybe that'll be for the big summer update right later this year. And right now they're going to focus on, again, deepening existing systems which is what they've been doing the last couple years is most updates deepen existing systems so in this this update looks like maybe they're going to deepen the expeditions and maybe they're going to rework the old ones to give us quicksilver i for one would love to rerun the old expeditions but on my main save and the reason is some of those old expeditions give you exclusive tech that i've always wanted on my main save like the singularity engine on my freighter I've always wanted that on my main save or like the Utopia Expedition. It has five unique buildable parts. They're like vending machines and they're they're mobile research stations, essentially. And you cannot earn those in the regular game. But if your save file is from Expedition, what was that? 10 Utopia, you get these exclusive research consoles. So you don't even have to run to the Nexus to research things. And that is so cool. Um, so I'd love to get those on my main save. Things like that would be really exciting. <laughs> yeah, so I wouldn't mind if this update was mainly focused on on a new story-based expedition, kind of like what we saw with the Singularity, that maybe leads us to the next content update, right? I think that'd be fine. That said, I do believe we'll probably get a bunch of other little fixes. Like I said, maybe the Dreadnoughts will be coming. I've seen some other data mines about possible new like dialogue in space and things like that, so... Who knows what other little little features we'll be getting that uh, will make the game better. As far as timing, like I said, I think we'll at the earliest it'll be next week, next Wednesday or Friday. So at the earliest, I think we'll see it the 14th or 15th. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's another month, <laughs> as it's a, it seems like a pretty big feature that they're working on. And if they're going to implement trials and all that too, I mean, yeah. Otherwise. The new, the new spaceship is really interesting. It makes me wonder if it's a one-off or if it's kind of like a precursor to a new ship type. Some people have speculated that there, there's like a decal on it. Some people have speculated, are we going to get like ship customization? I don't know about that. Maybe. There are some other data mine points that kind of imply they might have been working on that at some point. But we've seen, we've seen similar data mines to that for years. So... Who knows? That would be really interesting. I would also love to see stuff like, again, it looks like a race ship. 
or like a, a race car ship. So I'd love to see Starship races. I think that'd be a fun, repeatable mission type, depending on how it's done, right? And of course, the new space stations. Hopefully we, uh, we see those soon. I've been looking forward to those. I cannot wait. It's That's going to be one of those things that really does have a big impact on the game. But yeah, they, they didn't give us a solid date for that. It's possible it's this update and they're just hiding them from the experimental branch so that, you know, it's not spoiled. But you never know. So keep your expectations in check with those two. Could be a while. But with all that, I think that's everything I wanted to talk about regarding the new experimental patch. Um, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you gotten a chance to try it? What do you think of the new starship? What do you think of the new uh, expedition system? Do you think we're going to be able to replay any expedition we want whenever? Or do you think they're going to keep it cycling? But with, uh, you know, previous expeditions kind of filling in the gaps between stuff. I actually think this is, this is going to be a great way to make onboarding easier. Because I, I know a lot of people were confused about expeditions. Like, how do I start an expedition? You know, they didn't realize they need to start a whole new save. So I think doing this all in the same save will be great. Not just because it, it makes more sense, but because um, now you don't need to have a bunch of spare save slots, I believe. Because I'm all out of save spots on <laughs> PS5, so I always have to delete one when I'm going in and uh, starting a new expedition. So this will be nice, and if I can keep my appearance and everything, that'll be really cool. Uh, yeah. So yeah, also let me know what do you think we're going to see in the next update. How much do you think it will change the expedition from what we've seen now? Do you think we're going to get it next week, sometime later? Uh, yeah, just I, I'm interested to hear all y'all's thoughts. And remember, keep your speculation reasonable. We don't know what's coming in this next update other than these changes to expeditions and most likely Expedition 12. So, yeah. Well, I've been Kanaju. This has been Episode 28 of the Deep Space Travel Break. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed my um, my discussion of this topic. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more No Man's Sky content like this, as well as various video game deep dives. I recently did a one-hour analysis, an hour-long analysis of the Judas trailer from the PlayStation State of Play. I am so hyped for that game. <laughs> if you watch that trailer and you're just hyped to, Feel free to give that a watch. I, I noticed a lot of very, very interesting things, but uh, it is for the 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 real passionate nerds among you because it is an hour long analysis of like a 90 second trailer. So yeah, you can you can probably guess how that's gonna go. But uh, besides that, look forward to my next video. I've been working. I apologize for the lack of uploads lately. I've been working on a hour and 15 minute long video about improving variety in No Man's Sky. And I'm really terrified that it's taken me so long by the time I release it, this update will come out and secretly fix variety. And then I'll just look like, <laughs> like, uh, oh my gosh, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping that it's not instantly outdated, but at the same time, if it was, that would mean they did a lot of cool stuff. So yeah, look forward to that. Hopefully I'll have it done in the next week. I mean, I've already recorded the audio and I'm already in the video editing stage, but it's just when a video is that long, it takes a very long time to edit. But look forward to that and following that more video game deep dives. And of course, I look forward to continuing coverage of this upcoming update and maybe a couple other live streams. Now that I've finally tested uh, the game on PC and I've tried live streaming on PC, it was a pretty cool experience. You know, I had the little icons pop up when people did super chats and stuff i mean that was pretty cool so uh yeah maybe maybe i'll do more of those <laughs> we'll see no promises right but anyways i've i've been talking too long uh thanks again for your support thanks for watching um and i will see you in the next video bye